guilty in the murder of a Bradley police officer last week. Today, the Kankakee County State's Attorney announced he put in the request for federal charges. WGN Shannon Halligan has the details. And count one is first degree murder. Darius Sullivan and Zandria Harris already face numerous charges after police say they murdered Bradley Police Sergeant Marlene Ritmanick and injured her partner, Officer Tyler Bailey. Now, Kankakee County prosecutors want to pursue the death penalty. In addition to state charges, I've submitted an official request to the U.S. Attorney and to the Attorney General of the United States to review this case for federal murder charges and to seek the federal death penalty. According to court records, Sergeant Ritmanick and Officer Bailey were responding to the Comfort Inn Hotel for a call of unattended dogs in the parking lot on December 30th. Once there, they learned Sullivan had an outstanding warrant for his arrest. During a hearing Monday, the Kankakee County State's Attorney described what prosecutors say the suspects did after they were confronted by police. They stood over Sergeant Ritmanick as she lay on the floor, already having been shot once. Darius Sullivan fired two shots from what we believe was Sergeant Ritmanick's service weapon, striking Sergeant Ritmanick in or about the throat and or neck. During the news conference with law enforcement officers, a written statement by Sergeant Ritmanick's family said the 21-year police veteran was a compassionate leader and her death was the most tragic loss of their lives. She was awarded Law Enforcement Officer of the Year in 2020. Just to show the officer that she was. She's also a published poet, an amateur photographer. Officer Bailey remains in the hospital after undergoing extensive surgery. Now prosecutors want to ensure justice for both families. We are asking for the fullest extent of consequences for these individuals. I cannot say that enough. Both Sullivan and Harris are being held after they were denied bail. Shannon Halligan, WGN News.